Hello boys and girls and welcome to my channel, The Startup Espresso. So what's gonna happen? As I said already earlier, we'll be talking about startups and now I'll start with a couple basics, essentials and tutorials you might need along the journey. And the first thing I would like to start off with is What's a startup? Personally, I think if it feels like a startup, chances are quite high it is a startup, but there are some differences and quite a few smart people have defined what they think a startup is or what they know a startup is. And I wanna share four different approaches to what a startup is. Now bear with me. First one is from a guy called Steve Blank. Again, if I mention these people, Google them. They have done incredible work in their field. Now, Steve Blank says, a startup is a temporary organization used to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. Takeaway here is temporary. Now, there's another guy called Eric Ries. Um, you will certainly stumble upon him sooner or later. And he says that a startup is a human institution designed to deliver a new product or service under conditions of extreme uncertainty. You heard it. And the next one is from Paul Graham. And Paul Graham is the founder of Y Combinator. Again, check out what Y Combinator is. Chances are very high. You will want to go to Y Combinator sooner or later. Paul Graham has said, a startup is a company designed to grow fast. Being newly founded does not in itself make a company a startup. It's not about being newly founded, it's about growth. And he continues, nor is it necessary for a startup to work on technology or take venture funding or actually work towards an exit. All that's not relevant. The only essential thing according to Paul Graham is growth. Everything else we associate with startup follows from growth. Have I said growth? Yes, I have said growth. Now, to summarize up, here comes number four, Dave McClure of 500 Startups. And here's a bit of a wild approach. Those are Dave's words, not mine, but I think they're awesome. He says, a startup is a company that's confused about number one, what its product is, number two, who its customers are, and number three, how to make money. And he says, as soon as they've figured out all three things, they stop being a startup and become a real business. But he says, most of the time, that does not happen. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say you have a new hairdresser in town, and it's the only hairdresser who is, I don't know, wild Japanese scissors. They might be innovative, they might be new, they might be wild, but here comes the thing. They know how to make money, they know their business model, they know who their customers are, and, and this is a really interesting thing, there cannot be this massive, explosive growth at this point, there's no way suddenly overnight a hairdresser can cut a million hairs. Not a million hairs, but a million hairstyles. So that's the one decisive thing. So I hope you've learned. Be sure to join me next week. Thank you so much.